Hey guys, Andrew Oldar with Dirt Rider Magazine. I'm here with two of our test riders, Michael Wicker and Steve Boniface, summing up our 2018 250F MX Shootout. Coming in fifth place was the Kawasaki KX 250F. The Kawasaki received a number of mechanical changes in both the engine and suspension department. Beginning with the engine, the updates definitely helped the KX 250F because it has a very linear power band, it's very easy to ride, and there's no surprises from bottom to top. There is nowhere really where the engine is lacking power. Maybe it doesn't have the best power anywhere along the curve. It's, it's good from bottom to top and you can ride the bike again wherever you like and want. I feel the power of the Kawasaki was very linear. I felt the Kawasaki had quick throttle response, really snappy and that's something I like in a 250. All in all, perhaps the best thing about the Kawasaki engine is that there aren't really any downsides to it. It has a very linear power band, it's super easy to ride, and just about any skill level of rider can get along with it very easily. Moving on to the suspension, the KX250F received internal changes in the fork and shock. Yeah, it was very well liked by just about everyone. I feel the Showa forks on the Kawasaki were overall pretty good. They were simple to work with. Um, didn't have to do too much in the way of changes to find a, a sweet spot. The shock, I like better than the forks as well on this bike. I felt the, the rear shock on this bike uh, absorbed really good and it felt really good in the corners. In the ruts especially, the deep ruts, I felt like it settled really good. I had a great feeling on the Kawasaki regarding the suspension. While it's not the most comfortable fork out there, it gave me like a, a really good feedback on, of the track and of the bike. Moving on to the shock, I feel like the shock was better than the fork was uh, suited more to my weight probably, a lot more progressive, and uh, I was quite happy with the shock. I wouldn't do much change uh, on the rear shock. For me in stock form, I'm definitely on the lighter side. The fork had a lot of hold up, especially on the, the small bumps and the chatter. So yeah, we made a few adjustments and really made it feel like the fork wasn't just deflecting off everything and I wasn't getting as much feedback in my hands. So uh, very happy with the settings we were able to find for me. Moving on to the handling department, the KX250F is one of, if not the most neutral feeling bike in the class. It's extremely easy to hop on, get used to, and feel comfortable on. The Kawasaki is really easy to get acclimated to. Like, I was amazed by the way the bike was cornering. It doesn't look like it, but the, the bike is really nimble. I think that's the main thing that can come out with. It's like, I, I felt like a safe feeling on the Kawasaki riding it. I really liked uh, the overall handling of the Kawasaki. And it feels like when you sit in it, your body's centered in that bike, and I feel that makes it more stable. The Kawasaki was really slim. The radiators, I noticed, were tucked in. That gave me more control of my legs on the bike, which I prefer. Yeah, overall, I was really impressed with the handling of the Kawasaki. Yeah, I agree with a lot of what you guys both said. I feel like the Kawasaki, it feels almost like one of the lightest bikes just because it's extremely just easy to throw around because it, it, it feels very small, which, which I really like. So that wraps it up for the Kawasaki KX250F finishing in fifth place. Check back to DirtRider.com to see how the rest of the bikes finish in our 2018 250F MX Shootout.